Welcome to another Lumi Financial Corner. With us once again, Michael Zaremski, head of U.S. private banking, Bank Lumi USA, member of the investment committee for Lumi Investment Services. Michael, good to have you back. How are you? How are you doing? Uh, great to be back, Dev. Thank you very much. Everything's going well. Thanks. You know, we're we're coming to the end of the year. Hard to believe this year flew by despite all its challenges. So as we look ahead for 2021, what should we be looking at? What should we be thinking about? What's our perspective for the new year? Uh, it's, a, it's a great question, Zev, and I think uh, your listeners have all gotten a good sense of what our, you know, what my overall market views are as we move forward. And I think you know, as we kind of head into the end of the year with a couple of year, a couple of weeks left in the year, I think it's a great time to just take a pause from a lot of the normal focus that we have on markets and just take a little bit of a time to kind of reflect on our, with our own financial goals and, you know, really think about some financial planning exercises as we head into 2021. Uh, I think in many cases we get very focused on a lot of the, the details, a lot of the nitty gritty. And I think it's a good time to ta- kind of take a step up, think about it from a more broader, more holistic picture, and really try to make a reassessment of, you know, what are our financial goals? What are our financial objectives? Um, are we properly positioned to meet those goals and objectives? And really, what other needs do we have that we need to take into account? Um, so just to give you some perspective on it, um, you know, in a lot of ways, an investment portfolio is almost like, you know, it's like a garage I think over time you just accumulate a lot of things, and every now and then you walk around in your garage and you don't really understand why everything is there, and you just kind of need to do a little bit of a cleansing and cleaning and reassess and reorganize it. And I think right a good time at the end of the year to kind of go through that exercise. No, it certainly is. And I know, as you've been saying, and by the way, I was very impressed. You've been vindicated. I've been reading some of the financial news that you're saying, even despite the challenge we had that we've move to a tech society, so that sort of you know, makes it easier to navigate and and do well, even when things seem to be going down, like during COVID. But overall, with the vaccine and everything moving forward, so I would have to say you're probably going to be even more optimistic and bullish for 2021. Yeah, I, I think I'll remain very optimistic and bullish, but uh, you do raise an interesting point and one that I've kind of struggled with myself. And, you know, everything being online and everything being Internet-driven, you know, again, another part of the world where I find myself uh, kind of being in this cluttered garage of stuff is when you look at a lot of your accounts <clears throat> where more and more stuff is online and you can't really find stuff as well. And again, going back to my original point, I think it's also a good time to kind of sit there and say, what do I have out there in terms of my you know, insurance, whether it's for your house, whether it's for your kids, whether it's your family? And there's a lot of things where I think we just kind of, they're in, they're online, they're in the Ethernet someplace, they're out there in space, and we kind of forget about them. And I think we need to kind of rein everything in right now, take a real hard assessment about what the world around us looks like, what our, what our whole investment or financial portfolios look like, and really do some deep dive financial planning exercises. And at this point in time, we're recommending to a lot of our clients to really take a step back, look at their insurance needs look at any educational needs that they have coming up for their children or for their grandchildren, um, you know, taking a look at kind of legacy issues for long-term family planning, trust to states, any gifting issues. And, you know, frankly, I think one of the other opportunities that we see right now, um, you know, again, for a lot of people is, you know, taking a look at where there are opportunities to gain some leverage and, you know, take advantage of some of the low rates in the market in terms of even just, looking at mortgages and looking at ways that you can really take advantage of it. As we've spoken many times, you know, interest rates are incredibly low. The Fed is basically encouraging everybody to get invested. So, again, it's a good time right now to take a reassessment of where do I have opportunity to maximize um, my, my, my risk tolerances, you know, maximize my opportunity set, go through some of those risk budgeting exercises, see where you have your cash needs, your spending needs. And again, at the end of the year, I think it's always a good time to kind of reassess and, um, you know, start to think about, you know, what 2021 will hold and uh, what the world will look like going forward. Uh, What's also interesting, so many people are probably going to look at their portfolios at the end of the year and be so much shocked at uh, how well they've done. Again, uh, as we've talked about a lot, there's been a lot of negative news. There's been a lot of bad things happening, but financial markets have increased. 
So, you know, whatever you thought you might have had left in the kitty at the end of the year, again, it might be a lot higher, and that might be a good opportunity to, again, reassess, is everything that I have here the stuff that I want to have here? Um, and if I have more than I needed, how do I, you know, move that around or, or put that in the right places so that going forward, everybody's well positioned? And I think that's really what we're encouraging a lot of clients to do right now at a point where things are starting to slow down. We're getting into this year end, and frankly, probably most people are still uh, not traveling and stuck at home. So a good opportunity to kind of, you know, reassess everyone's situation and start planning for 2021. A good, good idea, good advice. People should just look and see where they're at and where they're planning on going and do a reassessment and just take stock of what you have in your portfolios and see what's out there. Great advice. So Absolutely. It's a great, it's a great time to clean the garage out, so to speak, uh, the financial garage, and uh, take a look at where you have all your stuff and look to move forward and for a fresh new year. Michael Zaremski, head of U.S. Private Banking, Bank Lumi USA, member of the Investment Committee for Lumi Investment Services. Thank you for being with you, being with us, and have a happy and healthy new year. Look forward to speaking with you again. Thank you very much, Seth, and all the best to uh, you and your family for a happy and a healthy new year. And we're going to be right back.